The National Rugby League has issued an infraction notice to Canberra Raiders winger Sander Earl, suspending him immediately for use and trafficking of performance-enhancing drugs CJC 1295. Chief Executive Dave Smith and Chief Operating Officer Jim Doyle announced the infraction notice at Rugby League Central. There is no place for drugs in our game, Smith said. The penalties are very clear in the WADA code. I can't go into specifics of the investigation. Smith said Earl has admitted to the charges of use and trafficking of the drug and accepted his punishment of being stood down immediately. The Raiders winger faces a four-year ban if found guilty. We will follow due process and that's what's going to happen. The ASADA investigation is unfolding, and we want it to go as quickly as possible. The investigation continues. The player interviews are largely finished. There's a lot of cooperation from our players, Smith said. As evidence comes to light, and as facts are brought to my attention I'll clearly act and I'll act strongly. We'll work through the charges with Sander and his lawyers over the next 10 days. Earl has agreed to continue to assist with the investigation, and is seeking to obtain the benefit of substantial assistance provisions. Today's development reinforces the position we have taken from the outset and highlights our resolve in dealing with what are serious issues, Smith said. We continue to work with ASADA, the government authority in anti-doping, to get to the bottom of all allegations. We will act on evidence when it is fully available. The Raiders issued a statement distancing themselves from the investigation, insisting it relates to a period before Earl joined the club from Penrith in mid-2011. The club understands the allegations made against Sandra Earl relate to a time prior to his arrival at the club, Raiders CEO Don Ferner said. The club has only learned about the allegations this afternoon, and will wait to be fully briefed on the matter before making any further comment on the issue.